a wooden railway originals of Thomas and Friends, episode 74, Teddy and Eddie. Teddy and Eddie are twins, and they arrive from the mainland to help Sir Topham Hat, but only one engine had been expected. So Topham had given them numbers, Teddy 15 and Eddie 16, but he was still planning to send one engine home. There was a caboose in the yard that had taken a dislike to Eddie. Things always went wrong when he had to take it out. His trains were late, and he was blamed. Eddie began to worry. Teddy, his twin, was angry. You are the scribes, said Teddy. It's to teach you a lesson I've been wanting. You can't, said the caboose. I'm essential. Ah, yeah, said Teddy. You're nothing but a screech and a noise we're all said and done. Spike Eddie, would ya take this? Ah, ooh, ah, cried the caboose. There's more coming, should you misbehave. The caboose behaved better after that, until one day Teddy had an accident. The rails were slippery. He couldn't stop in time. I am disappointed, Teddy. I didn't expect such mm, clumsiness from you. I have decided to take Eddie back and keep you. Um, sorry, sir, said Teddy. I should think so, too. You have upset my arrangements. Now Gordon will have to help with the freight work while you have your back mended. Gordon won't like that. Sir so Topham Hat was right. Gordon dribbled dreadfully. He had to pull freight cars for the rest of the day. Freight trains! Freight trains! He sputtered. He felt his position deeply. Anyone would think, said Eddie, that Teddy had had his accident on purpose. I heard a tale about an engine and some jelly wagons. Be quiet, snorted Gordon. It's not funny. He didn't like to be reminded of his own accident. Well, 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 said Eddie. Silly Gordon, it wasn't yo. You didn't say. Gordon didn't say. He slouched sulkily away. Gordon is cross, nicker the spiteful caboose. We'll try to make him crosser still. Hold back, giggled the freight cars to each other. Gordon did his best. But he was exhausted when they reached, when they reached Edward Station. Luckily, Eddie he was there. Help me up the hill, please, panted Gordon. These cars are playing tricks. We'll show them, said Eddie. Slowly but surely, the smarting engines were forcing the freight cars up the hill. 
But Gordon, but the freight cars were holding back. I can't do it, I can't do it, said Gordon. Leave it to me, yelled at Eddie. Hey. The, the conductor was anxious. Go steady. The caboose is, 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 is derailing. And he was right. No one had been hurt, and soon Harvey came to clear the mess. Sir Topham Hat was on board. I might have known it would be, be Eddie, he said. Eddie was grand, sir, said Harvey. Gor the freight cars were holding back, but Eddie was hard enough for three. I heard him from my, I heard him from Wellsworth. Two would have been enough, said Sir Topham Hat. I want to be fair, Eddie, but I don't know. I really don't know. Sir Topham Hat was making up his mind about which engine to send away. But anyways, that's another story.